This is a Sports Catastrophe production. Hey there, Heather Ho there. It's Jeff Cutter Diamond welcoming you to another Sports Catastrophe on this day. And on this day, June 26, 1993, one of the most infamous NHL drafts had happened. This will be the 30th anniversary of all that. It was a huge one. One key moment is that the last player, active player from the 93 NHL draft wasn't any of the top three guys. It was Kibo freaking Timonen. After winning the 2015 Stanley Cup with the Hawks, he retired. So anyway, the 1993 draft was all about one player, Alex Day, who was tearing it up in Victoriaville in the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League. Everyone wanted him. People were shocked when, you know, there seemed to be a turtle derby between Ottawa and San Jose. Ottawa was in their inaugural season. San Jose was in their second official season. Both sucked terribly. Both only had like 11 wins or something like that. Somehow Ottawa got the number one pick because they had more losses, which is kind of weird. I thought San Jose had the most losses. I don't know how that number one pick came to Ottawa. But anyway, it was found out that Ottawa had kind of tanked on purpose to do that. And then the NHL decided a few years later to do the draft lottery. Kind of like the NBA draft lottery. So yeah, Ottawa and San Jose both were just terrible teams. Well, and the funny thing was that Ottawa won their first ever game against Montreal in Ottawa 5-3. to three. It was huge because they beat the eventual Stanley Cup champions. Although Montreal sometimes didn't play like Stanley Cup champions. Regardless, Ottawa just had it Funny. And it's a few days after I did the item on Ottawa's expansion draft and their stupid laptop battery. This happened. So Alex Dake was going to be picked by Ottawa, number one. And Ottawa thought they had him. Dake would make an embarrassing statement saying, quote, I'm glad I got drafted first because no one remembers number two. Well, that's not true. Now, Hartford and San Jose made a gigantic trade prior to the draft. I think it was to the draft. Yeah, in the draft, the Sharks and Whalers would make a trade. San Jose would, well, San Jose would send the number two pick to Hartford for Sergei Makarov, first round, the first round pick in 93 and the third round pick in 93, and Toronto's second pick in the round pick in 93. So this was huge because this was a gigantic trade and all that. But the Sharks would actually trade down with the Whalers to get Sergei Makarov. And it worked. I mean, Makarov was seasoned for the Sharks. So Hartford took Chris Pronger, this great defenseman from Peterborough in the OHL, second. So Hartford got their guy. And Tampa, picking third, went with Chris Gradden, a center from Kingston, who actually would be huge for Tampa. Now, Anaheim and Florida were coming into the league, but they were given the fourth and fifth picks. Kind of weird. They should have been given at least number two. But anyway, Anaheim picked fourth and took from the University of Maine left winger Paul Correa. In the, the first ever Ducks pick was a fantastic pick for the Ducks. The Panthers, their first ever pick was Rob Niedermeyer from Medicine Hat. You know, Scott's brother. And of course, I touched upon Scott Niedermeyer in the 91 NHL draft video, saying the Leafs should have had him. I think they would have drafted him. But knowing the least, it would have fucked it up. So, of course, San Jose, with the pick, Hartford was going to pick six. So San Jose, with that Hartford pick, took Victor Kozlov from Moscow, which was a good move. He was good for the Sharks for a few years, and they went to the Panthers and did well. Edmonton went seventh and took Jason Arnott from Oshawa. So it worked out. Arnott would be much better known for his devil work in 2000, getting the Stanley Cup final on an overtime goal. The Rangers took Nick Sundstrom from Modo in Sweden. Dallas took Todd Harvey ninth from the Detroit Junior Red Wings, and Jocelyn Tipo was picked 10th by the Nordiques. Now, Quebec had that pick because that was one of the picks that Philly gave Quebec in exchange for Eric Lindros, and Quebec took Tebow from Sherbrooke in the Quebec League. So, they struck gold. Tebow was decent for Quebec before he was traded to Montreal in the Patrick Waugh deal. Let's not forget that. No, other notable first-round picks. Brandon Witt went to Washington. Teddy Johnson was picked by the Leafs with the 12 overall pick. The Leafs actually picked up that first round pick. Was that a first round pick? What was that trade? Oh, the Grand Fury. So Buffalo sent their first round pick alongside Dave Anerchuk 
for Grant Fuhrer. And the Leafs picked up Kenny Johnson. Great move, but Johnson was traded too early to the Cupcakes, or the Islanders, as you will. Quebec took Adam Dunmarsh 14th. Jason Allison was taken 17th by Washington. Toronto had another first-round pick, but they took Landon Wilson. Ugh. Saku Koivu was picked 21st by the Habs in this draft, the 93 draft. I did not know that. I thought it was 96. Ty Pertuzzi was taken in this draft, 23rd overall by the Islanders. A major swap. Islanders and Quebec swapped picks, but, you know, the Islanders took Ty Pertuzzi. And then Melbury let him go to Vancouver. So, yeah, that's huge. Second round picks were were huge. Jamie Langenberger went to Dallas. Yanni Nina went to Philly. Brian McCabe went to the Cupcakes, or the Islanders, as you will. Um, 40th overall, second round. Kevin Weeks, goalie, t went to Florida. Uh, okay, let's see here. What other good picks are there? Third round did not seem to bring it. Yeah. Eric Dossett was taken in the fourth round by the Blackhawks. That was actually the pick that Buffalo had but traded to Chicago for the one of one Dominic Hasek. Round five, Miro Satan went to Edmonton. Tommy Salo went in the fifth round to the Islanders as a goalie but before they traded him to Edmonton. Patrick Lalim was in the sixth round by the Penguins and he started out fast having the record for best start by a goalie ever. Like, undefeated streak. Patrick Laleem, sixth round. Andrew Brunette went in the seventh round to Washington. Todd Barchant went in the seventh round to the Rangers. Although they traded in Edmonton. Uh, Manny Legacy, eighth round pick by Hartford. Back when the drafts were more than eight pick rounds. Hal Gill went in the eighth round to Boston. Mike Greer went ninth round to St. Louis. Pavel Dimitra went 227th overall to Ottawa. Can you believe it? Even Kitchener's Jason Gladney, who was directed by Washington, went higher up. Round 10, Kimo Timonen, 250th overall, Timonen to LA. And as I said, the last player for the 93 draft to play in the NHL. Round 11, there was nothing. But Hans Janssen was the 286th and last player picked by Pittsburgh. And he did play a few years for the Penguins. So, yeah. So that was huge how Alex Day would make that statement. And yet, Chris Pronger is a Hall of Famer and was a legend. Not for Hartford. Pronger would be better known for his days in St. Louis. As Hartford traded him to St. Louis for Shanahan, if memory serves me right. And then Pronger played well for the Blues, even winning the MVP in 2000 and being on the cover of NHL 2000. Which was great. It was the first PlayStation hockey game I had was NHL 2000. So yeah, Chris Pronger would go on to do well with Philly and a few other teams such as the Oilers in 2006 and then demand a trade to Anaheim because his wife didn't like Edmonton. Yeah, and Alex Dagg, big bust. Ottawa wasted their games for Alex Dagg. Ugh. Boy, Ottawa was a laughing stock of the NHL. By 97, when they finally got to the playoffs for the first time in modern history, they were much better liked. But, you know, still, Alex Dagg, idiotic move. Anyway, I'm Jeff, I'm going to do.